All right, I'm uh, compacting the dam and hitting that inside just a little bit. right here you can see the bare clay it's coming down and it's going into this field edge here and it stays all wet but what I'm gonna do you see Mark over here there's a new pond I'm gonna cut a new ditch and drain it right into that new pond and that'll dry up this whole corner right here I'm gonna try the blade first but this dirt's pretty hard because it's been by water runoff so I don't think it's gonna work too good. We'll try it. At least if I can get the, 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 the ditch line going. Oh that's not bad right there peeling up some sod.
about got stuck in more of that slop, I, I had to pull myself out. So I got out and now I'm trying to put some dry stuff. I moved the slop over to the side and I'm making myself a ramp here basically of dryer dirt. So I can get back in there. You can see I started grading up there.
we'll uh, just kind of shape this down a little bit. I'll go on the outside and shape that down up there. Here's a midstream look at this ditch. I had to shave down a little bit more than I thought to keep the downhill run. So now I'm going to just clean up the edges. I started two up there and I figured I'm going to take a little bit more off of this hump right here. I think I got it now. All right, I'm going to just loosen up this high spot and then I'll run it once or twice more and uh, that should work. You know? I got to talk to Mark. He wanted me to put a culvert pipe under here for like year-round passage. And I'll need some dirt if I'm going to do that. This is like my third after shot of this ditch, but I think I finally got it. Uh, Mark told me it comes pretty fast and furious, so I took it a little deeper. We'll see. I mean, I don't think it'll blow over that, that berm, but we'll find out. If it does, I'll come back and tweak it some more, but I had to make a kind of a gradual curve here because it's going to slam up on this right side because it's coming right down this way. So it's gonna make this gradual curve. I'll show you from the top side. So there's your water coming. And I had to turn it. I think it'll work. We'll find out when we get rain. I don't live far away if I need to come back. Mark knows that. and it's gonna flow right down into the new pond. All right, I'm uh, compacting the dam and hitting that inside just a little bit, shaping it, but for the most part, we're done. Got to shape this a little bit more right here.
right, that's enough for camera today anyways. We're just about done. Almost done. All right, now I'm out of the hole. Just gonna shape all this soft stuff over here where that little puddle was. And let it dry. It'd be nice if I could get back in here in the next couple days and regrade it, but that's up to Mother Nature. Because I think I got some uh, something else going on tomorrow. And the next day. look at the pond for today Mark's done moving all of that dirt so now I'm gonna pull this this side back he got he's got a marker stick right there so this side's gonna be another 12 feet or so back that way and then I'm just gonna grade out the dirt what's left from here out in this low spot here's a look from the back side here you can see the dam get a better idea how big it is So it's going to be a good size pond here, no doubt. I mean, this is like a, just about like a house pond. It will be once I finish that part.